Really ready to hit the road, pack a cooler, go to the park. We're going to show you the healthy way to do it. And then one man's journey into fitness, a lifelong journey that he's finally winning this battle. He's going to tell us the keys to that. And it is summer, so we want to talk about some strategies to stay help healthy even though you're on vacation. It is Joy Ermy from Weight Watchers. I like to say the joy of Weight Watchers. I'm Rebecca Rainier, and just like the song says, I'm so glad you are here. I'm so glad Joy is here. We are in the summer. We are ready to go. Joy is my Weight Watchers guru, and um, we've got a lot of questions for you. Summer. Some people find it easy in the summer because it's warm and nice out, but I think it's a little bit more challenging at times to mm -hmm. stick to our plan in the summer. It is. We never stop. We say this year we're going to relax. Right. It's summer. We're going to sit back. No, you don't. <laughs> you're constantly moving right. and you're not home and you're planning falls by the wayside and so then you're still going to eat though. Mm -hmm. So now you haven't gone to the grocery store in three weeks because you've just <laughs> been stopping on your way home. Right, right. And you've got all, and you're just picking and you're going through drive throughs and you're hitting the vending machines and today we're going to talk about packing whether you're going to the pool, camping or just to work. Because this is the truth we are out and about a little bit more usually in the summer and mm -hmm. I like that idea of the pool too. You, you do have to think a little bit more about taking your food on the go in this time of year. So what are the keys to packing a healthy and satisfying cooler for whatever our excursion okay. is? Well, cooler or meal in general, we really want it to be nice and balanced. Mm -hmm. So just think about everything. Even though it's just a lunch or just an afternoon, Let's start with something easy. I'm gonna make this so easy on you, things that you normally buy anyway. So we'll just start with a sandwich, okay? Because okay? no matter what time of day, that's a really great thing to have with you. Right. Wheat bread, whole grain bread, something a little on the lighter side is fine. And then lean cuts of meat, turkey, is a great choice. Uh huh. I, you know, I will say I love I love me a turkey sandwich, and um, and we always say this. I said it last week. I was I'm harping on it. Someone said, well, sometimes I buy white bread. I'm like, no, you don't. <laughs> That's enough. You have to go to the wheat bread. You have to find something. Even we looked at gluten free breads, which there are some that aren't aren't bad even, mm -hmm. but you have to move yourself away from that white bread sandwich. Well, and then you ask yourself, what is it? How do I want to spend my daily calories? If you want to spend your daily calories on just bread, that's one thing, but you're going to get a lot more flavor from everything you put in the sandwich than just the bread itself. Mm -hmm. So here I just have um, turkey and I actually have a thin slice of cheese on it. You don't even need a lot, but just enough if that's what you like. And then a lot of veggies. On my sandwich here, I have lettuce, tomato, cucumbers, but you can put anything. Yeah, you know what? I don't normally put cucumbers on and I I really like them. I don't know why. I, that's a good idea. Mm -hmm. I don't it's know why. It's crunchy I don't. and it adds a lot to it. And you know what? I'm not adding any calories. And if you want to put condiments on it, mm -hmm. there's so many kinds of mustards now that are really so low in calories. So that's the key is the mustard. That and is really big. Even a light mayo. I mean, if you okay. really love it. Mm -hmm. But just watch how much you're putting on. Again, where do you want to spend your calories? You want more turkey. You want more veggies on there. Right. It's the turkey and the veggies that are going to get you full and keep you fuller longer. I love And that's that. really what you want. Now a side dish because again we're talking about a balanced meal. Mm -hmm. I know this time of year potato salads, pasta salads, macaroni salads. Ah! <laughs> I know, potato salad. You, you can do a lot of damage uh -huh. with those salads. Oh. So I'm going to tell you whether you want to hear it or not. The toss salad. Hit me, Joy. I'm going to hit you with it, the toss Ooh. salad. I know, I know. But make it pretty. We've got, you know, they've got these sweet red peppers this out This is now. my little secret weapon right now. I will say the little mini peppers are similar to the pretzels or, or potato mm -hmm. chips. And I get uh, some light dip with it, too, that, that Oikos dip. Have you ever tried that? I'll have to bring that in for you sometime. Really, 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 really good. 60 calories for a tablespoon. No, you know, perfect. Whatever is going to get you to eat that. I would rather spend my 60 calories calories on a dip with veggies than to spend to 300 out on four potato, potato chips. chips. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's not satisfying. And speaking of potato chips, uh -huh. don't forget the snacks. Because okay. especially if you're going somewhere with the kids, they constantly want to be eating. And then once you take out that bag of chips, you're going to start eating those chips as well. Mm -hmm. So pack things that are good for everyone. Fruits, 
veggies, cheese sticks, I have everything here. Look at the seasonal. You go to farmer's markets, take advantage of when you're there. The cherries, the strawberries, the plums, the apples, and even the bananas and the watermelons travel real well. Okay, so, and but then you portion them out too. You, I mean, the other thing is when you're packing the cooler is your your containers. Yeah, I mean, just definitely fine. Now, the way, um, the best way to pack a cooler is to have your packs that are flat on the bottom. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And that's, and then you want to put what needs to stay the coldest on the bottom. So you put your sandwich down or whatever. And you put your sandwich down. And then if you notice, all the containers I'm using are nice and flat so they can just stack right in here on top of each other. And you want to fill in all your spaces with ice cubes. Not shaved ice, not cubed ice, because those are going to melt quicker. Mm -hmm. Actual ice cubes. Okay. And that's going to fill it in. I would also suggest that um, you don't have to avoid a uh, dessert even when you're out. You've got a good cooler that seals. Yeah. You can bring fruit bars, are oh. a really great dessert to have with you uh, when you're out because they're convenient. They're already prepackaged. They seem like a treat. They seem like a treat. They're refreshing. They're not adding a lot of calories or points calories to your day. calories for a fruit bar here. So. That's one of your favorites, that kind there? Absolutely. And so what are the, um, we're going to talk more about the pitfalls, but that Weight Watchers does have a summer plan that mm -hmm. just right now going on. Talk about that a little bit. We started in early June with Ace Your Summer Challenge. Mm -hmm. We understand that it's difficult sometimes when the seasons change. Your routines naturally change. And when that happens, you might fall off the wagon a little bit. I might. You I might. Just might. So what we decided to do this year is Weight Watchers knew our members and said, we're going to do a 12-week Ace Your Summer Challenge. We're going to have a tangible, realistic goal that you're going to set for yourself. And you know what? Sometimes a goal is to maintain. Absolutely. not. That's 100% that's true. Just to just stay the course for a certain amount of time when you know you've got challenges is a huge victory. Yeah. Instead of going the opposite direction. And it doesn't always have to be food related. It can be activity related. I always walked my dog every day during the fall and the summer. Excuse me, the fall and the mm -hmm. spring. And now it's summer and it's hot. Oh, my dog's hot. I should stay inside. Right. I'm doing him a favor by sitting here. Yeah. No, go outside. Yeah. <laughs> go outside. It's good for you. It's good for the dog. And stay hydrated when mm -hmm. you're outside. Mm -hmm. Those lemonades, sodas, Juice boxes, they are laden with sugar. They're going to add a lot of calories to your day and eat up a lot of your daily intake. And yeah, they, they quench your thirst at first, but with that sugar, it makes you want to drink more right. and drink more. So water is the best bet. But if you don't like water, it's a little bland to you. Mm -hmm. Infuse it with some fruit. What's your favorite to infuse your water with um, right now? Kiwi and strawberry. Interesting. You put it in a pitcher in the refrigerator the night before mm -hmm. and then you can just refill reusable uh, water bottles before you go out the next day. Again, my number one thing that I put in water, which seems weird, is the cucumber. I love cucumber and mint. I, I just like neutralizes the I don't love the cucumber. I'll have to try the mint though. I haven't done the mint. Okay. So then we're not gonna mix it yet because we're gonna do it do it do it during the break. Say that three times fast. But you have another little treat that you is Weight Watchers Enjoy Approved. It's Weight Watchers Enjoy <laughs> Approved. Yours? So yes. So okay. all we're gonna do is this is called a raspberry iced tea slushy. Okay. And like you said, I'm gonna mix it over the break because we're gonna mix it for about a minute and a half, and it's very, very easy. It's just one and a half cups of ice, mm -hmm. a cup of frozen red raspberries. Frozen red red. All oh, right, there we go. And then a one cup or eight ounces of unsweetened iced tea. Oh. We're going to put that together. We're going to mix it and then we can drink it in a little while. We will. We're going to have uh, Andrew Zapeta is going to be in in two seconds and we're going to talk about his healthy journey. But in the third segment, we're going to test this smoothie. Is that what we call it? Slushy. We call slushy. it slushy. Slushy. And talk a little bit more about handling our summer vacation and all kinds of things to keep you on track during the warm weather. Thank you, Joy. Weightwatchers.com for all joys and Weight Watchers tips. Thank you. See, that looks so good. That looks, I, I never put tea.